Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you? I am Dr. Alabiz from Dr. Alabiz Academy. This is the, for the uh, country with continuation with our previous uh, uh, class sessions. Uh, this is uh, UK taxation, uh, and this is valid till till March 2025 exams. Okay. I kindly request you all to subscribe to my channel, share this channel and watch till the end if you find it really value added, uh, like the channel and uh, put your comments, okay. We try, we are here to, I am here to always upgrade, mm -hmm. uh, make the best of the best efforts to communicate, to make you experience such that it will be easy for you to succeed in your examinations. This is the UK taxation valid till to March 2025 exam. In continuation about this, what we have said, see we are talking in terms of, we are talking in terms of investment income, is it? We are talking in terms of investment income. Uh, what they say, their illustration, these are very important things, okay? Uh, what they have mentioned, saving, savings income tax of rates. Also, uh, Alonso received a bank interest of 7850 he has received the bank interest calculate income tax liability assuming he has also he is he is having two incomes one he is having the income through the trading income and they gave you three the different situations is it 43 53 and 140 this is the best way of understanding in one one go we can understand how it is going to be work out how is it the first one is the first we will start with what we'll start with the forty three thousand the first option is it right first option is forty three thousand that is the non savings income in otherwise called as a trading income now how much is the bank interest the bank interest is seven thousand eight fifty if you make it a total total income comes to fifty thousand eight fifty the first and foremost what you have to do you have to deduct the personal allowance it is within the range you see right it is within the range the first is personal allowance how much you will have twelve thousand seven fifty five seventy okay then you will have a taxable income is that this thing when you are when you are making the things we have to make sure that we have to write it very clearly taxable income how much is the taxable income taxable income in in the non savings is 30 savings is 850 is it next when you are doing the thing this this is the most simplest one okay now first you have to calculate on the basic rate is it basic rate at the rate of 20 percent is it now what it says the starting rate does not apply as savings income does not fall within the first five thousand of taxable income so the starting rate will not apply because it is not going savings income is not going to fall within the five also what what the condition says that what the condition says that the is a, he is not a his his income is how much his income is more than thirty seven thousand seven zero one because his income is more than thirty seven he will come under the higher tax rate bracket is it higher tax rate? that that's a the condition is say that we have done in the previous cases we have done there are clear rules has been mentioned is that the reals has been mentioned what they have mentioned just i will go back it is that it will make more specific for us to have the things is right now what is it it says that uh, when the uh, when it will apply when it will not apply is it when it will apply when it will not apply see that's it non-taxable non-saving income the first five thousand of taxable savings is in savings income is taxed at how much is taxed at zero this is the starting rate is it right this is the, the in effect tax receipt this condition we are using there is it this condition we are using there then when we do the things what will happen is it when we, we work out the things what will happen they say that 
it is going to be how much? It is the savings income. Is that savings income is how much? 500. For the first uh, 500, is it? For the first 500, this I am giving you the reference, okay? I am giving you the reference of that. See the thing, savings income. Is that what, what they say? See, the, this is what the no taxable, no taxable, non saving income. First 5000 of taxable savings is taxed as 0%. Now, in effect, in effect, received tax free. Okay, these are the different stages. Is it right? The next, next income, the taxable non savings income below 5000, is it? taxable non saving below 5000 or saving income falling with the rest is going to be taxed at 0%. Fine. This we have to apply with non taxable, non taxable, non savings income. Is it? This is all for what? Non-savings income. This is for non-savings income. The first 5,000 non-saving income in excess of 5,000. Is it? In excess of 5,000. See the thing. Now, what they say, if if there is further savings of income tax, serving in savings incomes to tax, the saving incomes can nil rate band. If the taxpayer is what? If the tax pay, basic taxpayer is one, if next 1000 falls in the savings income, what is higher tax bracket? The higher tax bracket is next 500 is a zero percent. Is it? Means the moment you are, you are, income is increasing, is it right? Your income is increasing, the, the benefits of taxation will decrease. Is it? The benefits of taxation will decrease. Here what they have mentioned, here they have mentioned the same thing. Is it right? If you take that into consideration, how much is the, you are talking about the, you are talking about because it is, his his taxable income is how much? His, is a high, his taxable income is 38,280. It is falling be, be, between what, that, the higher tax bracket. Therefore, his his savings nil rate band. His savings will not be one thousand. Is it? His savings will not be one thousand. His his savings nil rate band will be how much? Its savings nil rate band will be five hundred. Is it? His savings nil rate band is going to be five hundred. Now, once we have done, is it? Once we have done, how much is his total income? His total income is thirty eight thousands. Is it 38,320? Is it 38,320? On that, on that, how much he is going to cal he, he is getting uh, the um, the ba basic rate advantage? What is the what is the nil? He is is that now he he is having how much? He is having 30, 30, 30, yeah, 38,000. 280 is it 38,280 in this what are the various components involved the basic basic rate is going to be how much 37,000 in this 37,000 how much they have they have utilized it is that how much they have utilized it they have utilized from the trade in saving non savings income is that non savings income how much they have utilized from non savings income 30430 is it 30430 and from the savings income how much they have utilized they have utilized how much this? is it is it okay now how much is there this much is there this is exhausted is it this has been exhausted and from this how much it is utilized from this we have utilized how much 500 okay how much is there it is going to be if you take 37 700 minus 34 30 minus 500 it comes to how much it comes to 6730 is it 6,730? This 6,770. Okay. This 6,770 is to be taxed at the rate of how much? Is it? Is it this 6,770? 6,770. 
6,070 should be taxed at the rate of how much? 6,770 times 20%. How much will come? Basic rate, is it? How much will be still? Still they are in the in the basic rate of 20%. Is that? It comes to how much? Now, fine. Now, how much is the fine? This this savings income for the for within the basic rate band are twenty percent, and the balance and what happened? The, still there is a balance. How much is the balance? The balance is see the thing. Uh, the balance is how much? Thirty-seven thousand seven hundred. Thirty-seven thousand seven hundred minus thirty-eight two eighty. Thirty-seven seven hundred minus thirty-eight two eighty. Is it thirty-eight two eighty? I will write here. Is it thirty-eight two eighty minus thirty-seven seven hundred? It comes to how much? It comes to five eighty. Fine. Now you can. Now you will have a more, more clarity here. On the non-savings income, we are charging at 20%. On the savings income, because he is in the higher tax bracket, we are getting 500, only 500 are exemptions. And the savings income, how much you are taking? You are taking the savings income to the extent of how much? It is going to be uh, 6,770. And subsequently, whatever the balance which is remained, it will be it will be taxed at the higher rate. What is the income tax liability? It is going to be seven thousand seven sixty two. Fine. Now we will we will do it in the same way. Is it? Right? We will do it in the same way. What will happen automatically? The uh, changes will happen. Is it? Right? Here it is fifty three thousand seven thousand eight fifty. The income will increase. Twelve thousand five seventy is the personal allowance. Is it twelve thousand? See very carefully. Taxable income is how much? Four. Now, how much is the non non savings income? Thirty seven thousand seven hundred will be taxed at twenty percent. Is it thirty seven thousand seven tax at? And how much is there? You see the things. I will write here on the left hand side. Okay. I will write here on the left hand side forty thousand four thirty minus thirty seven thousand seven hundred. Is that thirty seven thousand forty thousand four thirty minus thirty seven seven hundred? It comes to how much two thousand seven thirty at a higher rate. Savings income because it's exceeding. Is it right? What again? Go to the conditions. Okay. Go to the country. His, it's exceeding more than he is in the higher tax rate. That is the reason how much he is getting. He is getting a benefit of 500. The up over and above that. Okay, over and above that. Is that how much is there? 7,850 minus 500. Okay, 7,350 will be taxed at the higher rate. Means the first. It is a sequential way how it will work. In the third way, also in the third case, also what happened? He is exceeding. Is it that he his his trading income is one four forty five? Bank interest is this much. His total income is how much? One fifty two. He will not get any personal allowance because the total income exceeds one twenty five one forty. Is that he does not any thirty seven thousand five hundred twenty percent and and how much is there here? How much is there? You have uh, um, you have fine one twenty one twenty one. See thirty seven thousand seven hundred and one twenty five one forty. Is it one twenty five? One forty minus thirty-seven seven hundred. Is it that how much you'll get? You'll get eighty-seven, eighty-seven, four forty. 
okay 87 440 and and uh, 145 minus 125 140 is it right? Minus 125, 140. It comes to how much? 9860. Fine. The basic rate at the rate of 20%, the higher rate at the rate of 40%, and the additional rate is added. Now we are since we are charging the additional rate. Okay. He is he is in the higher the higher the um, tax bracket the extreme additional is the additional rate now we have to for the savings income also so we don't have any 1000 or 500 we don't have any uh, benefit we'll get directly it will be how much it will be 45000 okay this is this is the way we have to solve it fine now once we do this then you will have more clarity okay once we have done this you will have you will know the thing what they are saying james received a bank interest how much james has received a bank interest james received a bank interest of three thousand three thousand three fifty during the tax year how much during the year 2023 24 Okay, 2023-24. Now, what is the pay uh, as you earn? Pay as you earn is 2630. In the previous case, is it right? In the previous case, they have not given pay as you earn. In this case, they have added, okay? They have added pay as you earn, earn okay? Now, fine. Now, I will take this, okay? I will take this and I will... I will put here, okay? I will put here so that it will be easy for us to make a understanding. Now, how much is the, is it? Make, make it a fund. What they say? Jammy. Okay, jammy. Is it? Income A, point number A, okay? Income tax computation. Income tax computation. Is it? Income tax from 2023, 20, 24, okay? Make it three, four columns. Particulars, is it? Particulars, non-savings, is it? Non-savings income, income, is it? Savings income, and the total, okay? And the total one, fine. Now, how much is the employment income? They have made a employer 25,000, is it right? How much is the employment income? Is that this is which condition? This is point number A, okay? When the employment income is 25,000, okay? And the employment income is how much? 25,000. Employment income is how much? 25,000. Is it? Now, how much is the 25,000? And how much is the savings income? Savings income is how much? Savings income is is 3350 3350 total will be how much total will be 28350 okay this is nothing but the total income is it don't forget to write this total income next what is it we have to take less personal allowance how much personal allowance is going to first from where we will deduct personal allowance is it? I will, I one minute, I will just move this, okay? This is the total income. Is it? How much? 25,000, 3,350, okay? 3,350. First, you have to deduct personal income from how much? 12,000, 12,570, okay? 12,570. Is it? Now, how much is there? I will not do here. 12,430, 3,350, and, and 15,780. Okay, this, is, this much is there. This is nothing but the, this is the taxable income. 
is it this is the tax make it a point what they are say they are say that they have they have they have uh, pay as you earn okay 2630 they have pay they have paid is it 2000 first you have to calculate income tax okay income tax how much is the is it right now uh non savings income is it first we'll take the non savings income on the non savings income is it that is the basic rate okay basic rate how much is the 12430 times 20% is it 12430 times 20% it comes to how much 2486 okay next he 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 is in the in the his his income is is eligible for that again i'm going back to that condition okay that is very important for us to 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 understand is it right to understand is that if a basic tax payer is that this i will put here a star mark here okay i will put a star mark here okay find the basic tax pay he is a basic tax payer is that how much he will get he will get a a nil rate band is how much nrb is how much 1000 is that how much is the nrb nrb is how much 1000 savings income is it savings savings income how much is the savings income in nil rate band okay nrb how much 1000 times 0 is it that you have to write i told you before also for zero also they will give you marks is it that next savings savings income is how much savings income is how much you will get total is how much 3350 3350 minus 1000 okay it comes to how much 2350 times 20% is it times 20% how much 470 If you add it six five nine nine two, okay, two nine five six, they have paid. Is it right? You have this is the income tax liability. This is the income tax liability. Okay, income tax liability. Now how much they have paid less? They have paid pay as you earn. How much they have paid as you earn? It has been given two thousand six thirty. Is it two thousand six thirty? How much pay as you are? Now, how much is the balance? Balance is three twenty six. Is it? This is income tax payable. Is a very very good uh, uh, concept to understand. Very very good example to understand. Is it that? it is it is a building blocks we can we can call it as a, okay next what we are doing just okay this is the point a okay i will put like this i will put like this and we will do the next one point b okay point b same thing is it that income tax when when the savings income is how much when the savings income is savings income is how much is the savings income is how much uh, uh is a trade employment income sorry trade employment income is 47500 is it employment income is how much is it an employment income is how much employment income is how much 47500 Is it particular non-savings income? Is it non-savings income? You have the savings income. Is it you have the savings income? You have the total. Okay, you have the total. Employment income is how much? Employment income is employment income is forty-seven five hundred. Is it forty-seven five hundred? How much is the savings income? Is it savings income is how much? Savings income is how much? It is, it is three thousand three fifty. Three thousand three fifty. Total it comes to how much? 
okay 3355 47500 3350 is it is it fine this this is the total income okay this is the total income next from that total income you have to detect personal allowance first we will give for of non savings is it and 5700 okay is it how much we'll get here 47500 plus 3350 is it 50850 is it 50850 It comes to how much? 13, 34, 34, 9, 30, 3, 3, 5, 0, and 38, 38, 280, minus 12570 okay now what they have say we have to do that basic things is it right we have to take that is it now what we have to do we have to calculate is that income tax is it right income tax how much on the non savings income okay on the non savings income how much is there on the non savings income 34930 times 20% is it right? how much we'll get 6986 now he, he has exceeded that is it right he has in the his income is a, in a higher tax bracket so he will get ex his savings income how much savings income nil red band is how much nrb is it nil nrb is how much only 500 times zero percent is it next saving savings income basic rate is how much savings rate a basic rate is how much basic rate at the time of how much 3350 minus 500 is it 3350 3000 350 3, minus is that 3350 how much you'll get he is getting only for how much is it 3350 is it now see the things what will happening his his income is also increasing is that 38 38 to 80 minus 37 700 is it see 38 how much how much he is getting in the basic rate and how much he is getting in the higher rate basic higher rate he is getting how much in the higher rate is it that in the higher rate he is getting how much 38 to 80 times minus 37700 it comes to how much 580 he is getting at a higher rate 40 percent is it right now now 580 at a higher percent now how much you have to take here we have to take here is 3350 minus 500 minus 580 is it we have to calculate it comes to how much 3350 minus 500 580 2270 times 20% okay 2270 times 20% how much we'll get we'll get 454 and 580 times 40% how much 580 times 40% it comes to 232 total it comes to how much 6986 plus 454 plus 232 it comes to 7672 is it right this is income tax liability is it less pay is it less pay 
how much he has paid in advance. He has paid in advance of 6,530. Right? How much is it? 6,530. How much will get? 7, 6, 6,530. It comes to 1142. This is the this is the income tax paper. Is it clear? Practice it. Okay, that's very important. In the last case, now you can put it in a very in a very uh, structured form. Okay, in the last case, point number C. Okay, point number C. We have to write. I am not writing income tax computations. Is it right? 2023-24. Okay, non-savings income. Non-savings income. Is it right? You have the savings income. Here you have the savings income, you have the total. Okay? Now, how much is the employment income here? Employment income has been increased. Is it right? Employment income has been increased. How much is the employment income? Employment income is how much? 16, 16100. Okay? 16100. How much is the 16100? Next, savings income is how much? Savings income is savings income is three thousand three fifty. Is it right? Three thousand three fifty. Is that how much it will come? Sixteen one hundred three thousand three fifty. Sixteen one hundred plus three thousand three fifty. It comes to nineteen thousand four fifty. Okay, is it? This is the total income. Less personal allowance, how much? Less personal allowance is 12,570. Is it? My, nothing, 12,570. How much will get here? You will get here 3,530, 3,350, and 6,880. Is it? This is the taxable income. This is the taxable income. Fine. Now, he is in the lower tax, basic rate. Okay, he is in the basic rate. Now, you have to understand. This is, this is very critical. Okay, you have to understand income tax. Is it right? You have to understand income tax. What happened? Non-savings income. Okay, on non-savings income. How much you are going to charge? 3530 times 20%. Is it right? It comes to 706. Now, on the savings income, okay, on the saving, how much you will get NRB? You will get NRB of how much you will get NRB? Is it? No. He is having, he is in the basic rate. Is it right? He is in the basic rate. If he is in the basic rate, is it? What is the condition? The if it is in the basic rate of 20 percent, is it right? Starting rate is given. Okay, again I am going back to that. Okay, that's very important. You should have a, any doubt is there. You say starting rate. What? No, no, no tax, non-saving incomes. The first five thousand of taxable saving income is taxed at zero percent. In effect, received it. Is it the first see the drone the this only applies in limited situation where taxable non savings is less than five thousand. Is that where taxable non savings is less than five thousand? Is that taxable non savings is less than one thousand? Five thousand. Okay, taxable non savings is less than five thousand. If taxable non-savings is less than 5,000, then we have to consider this rule, is it? When, the, when we have to consider these rules, is it fine? What it says, is it savings income? How much starting date, okay? We have, I will mention starting, starting rate, okay? Starting rate, how much is it? Fine, now, how... Um, 
3530 at the rate of 20%. Okay, 3530 at the rate of 20. Now, what happens? See that if it is below 5000, 5000 minus is it 5000 minus uh, 3530? Is it 5000 minus 3530? It comes to how much? 1470 times 0 percent okay times 0 percent okay you have to write 0 now you see the thing this amount is going to be how much this is 5000 fine this is going to be 5000 next now you are you are basically means you are getting your first 5000 is below that amount you will get 0 next what will happen then you have to take savings income still it is there savings income for savings income after this okay after this 1000 is it that you will get other another exemption how much you will get an exemption of zero that's what the the second level says is it now how much is the savings income uh, how much is the balance savings income total savings income is 3350 okay 3350 minus 1470 minus 1000 3350 1470 minus 1000 it comes to how much it comes to 880 times how much it is 20 percent is it it is 20 percent how much you'll get 160 one sorry 176 okay how much you'll get 176 how much you this is how much see the thing six you have to reconcile okay we have to reconcile how much is there it comes to 882 this is going to be called as a income tax liability is it income? now how much they have paid they have paid pay as you earn okay how much they have paid 850 it comes to how much 32 this is the income tax liability Is it? This is with respect to savings income. Is it clear to you? Fine. Coming back to this. We'll complete this. Okay. We'll complete this. Is it? Now, what they say, they gave you another example. Is it? Ashley earned employment income is 138085 and received a society income 7500. Total is going to be 2585. Okay. They paid qualifying interest deduction will be there. Qualifying interest, how much? 100. Is that net income will be how much? Net income will be this much, and they are deducting personal allowance. Taxable income is how much? 415, 7500 at 7915. Okay, 7915. Now, what they say, see the thing. They have, see, they have again the same formula. Is it right? 5000 minus 415 okay still there the, the starting date rule applies here is it the starting date rule applies here it comes to how much 4585 okay 4000 4585 at the rate of how much see the thing is it now non savings income is excess of the personal allowance maximum 37,720%. Okay, income savings income starting rate. Okay, starting rate we have to apply it is below 5,000. It comes to zero. Okay, total 5,000. Now, how much is it after that? You they will have a multiple level of exemption. Total savings income is how much? Total savings income is 7,500. Is it right? How much is the total savings income is how much? 7,500. Fine. 7,500. 7,500. How much they got it in the first case? They got it 4,585. Okay. Next. They got it how much? 1,000. Okay. They got it 1,000. Fine. Now, what is the balance they will have? 7,500. 7,500 minus 4. 585 minus 1000. It comes to how much? 1915. 1915 will be at the rate of 20%.
that is the income tax liability and subsequently what it is a pay as you earn fine right? how much you have paid 47 is it that income tax liability is going to be is it right now this is the basic thing which we have to work out when we are doing the things as such okay now coming back to this we will we'll have this we will have introduction on this dividends income in the next session we are going to do this dividend received from a company are charged to income tax see what will happen you will have employment income you have a uh, you have a savings income you will have a dividends income is it you will have multiple mm. multiple sources of income dividend received from are charged in the tax year as they receive is it they first 1000 dividend and comes in the nrb the first 1000 of dividend income comes in nrb and therefore it is tax free the subsequently what will happen then you will have a basic rate if the total income is in the basic dividend income is comes the same rule 37 a what will happen 37000 here the rates are different 8.75 33.75 and 3935 they will give you it in the examination okay it is part of the examination now what they have said that there are some specific things we have to consider applying the appropriate rate, dividend income is tax at the top slice of income that is after non savings and savings income is the dividend income is see you first you will have the employee say first preference will be given for employment income then you will say it is for the savings income then you will say that yes if you if you, if the individuals will have that much income definitely they will make it at a they will make the investments okay there also that the reason they gave what happens if you see the thing it is at 8 first fine okay within the basic rate the rate of interest is less but subsequently what will happen the rate of in, the dividend rate tax rate will increase the uh, the dividend nil brand band is the first 1000 tax free okay unlike the savings income rate which applies in certain limited circumstances savings nil rate band which depends on the tax position of the individual the dividend nil band in rnrb always applies for first 1000 dividend income first 1000 zero straight away okay the dividend income tax at the dividend and nil rate reduce the basic rate and higher rate bands i mean definitely the the calculation part will be uh, will be get affected any remaining dividends is tax at a special dividend rate is this that what we have been 8.75 is it 8.75 3375 is that what they say see the thing very is it's not it not difficult is it it's very easy they have earned an employment income of 14850 they received a dividend income of 14000 4500 and they pay how much they pay Uh, uh, pay is how much to 600 is it 14850 4000 it comes how much pa 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 is going to be to, how much is the taxable income 2280 4500 is it now 2280 will be taxed at 20% the first 1000 is a tax free okay nil rate band okay the first 1000 is a uh, first 1000 flat and the uh, 4500 it will be taxed at 8.75 total is how much 762 they have pay they have pay as you earn it comes to how much the income tax payable is 162 is it right in the same, same case okay how much is the employment income 3000 4 2 34 250 and they have a dividend income of 7500 17500 total income personal allowance is a total income 21680 is a 21680 at 20% first 1000 is at 0% the remaining the remaining uh, balance amount how much is the 17500 is it right 37700 is a 37000 how much you have deducted savings income 
21,680. How much is the 37,700 minus 21,680. It comes to how much? 16,000, 16,020. Now, how much you have deducted uh, the in dividend income? 1,000. Is a NRB. Okay, how much is the 1,520? Is it at the rate of it is less than still we are we are within the range of 37700 that is the reason they have charge how much 8.75 okay 8.75 now how much is the dividend income 17500 okay 17500 they got how much 1000 exemption it comes to how much 16500 15020 at the basic rate okay this is at the basic rate how much is still left over 16, 16,500, 15, 20. It comes to how much? 1480. 1480 will be at a higher rate. Fine. 33.75. Total is this much. Pay is this much. Income tax payable is how much? 2,470. Is it? 2,470. Is it, is it okay with this? Is that you, you now you can understand how it is how it is easy to get the things done. Okay? Next. Fine. We we will we'll do this and we'll 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 hold it out. Okay. How much is they see e income tax computation? This is for where this is for this one. Okay. This is for this one. Fine. What they are asking? They are asking you to calculate income tax liability for the tax year. Employment income, bank interest received. This is a very comprehensive, okay? Comprehensive scenario is there, is it? Now, how much is the employment income you have here? Non-savings, is it right? You, now you will have non-savings, is it? No, you have non-savings, you have savings, you have dividend income, and you have a total. Okay, do you have a dividend income and you have a total savings income, non-savings income. Is that employment income is how much? If you take into consideration employment income, employment income is going to be 45,100. Okay, 45. Bank interest is how much? Bank interest is how much? Bank interest is 2,000. Okay. 41,100. Bank interest is 2,000. Okay. And dividend income is how much? Dividend dividend received. Is it a dividend received is how much? Dividend received is 6,000. Okay. 6,000. Fine. Totally. How much you will get? 45,100. 2,000. 6,000. Is it 45, 46, 47, 50, 40, 53, 100. Is it? This is called as a total income. Fine. Next. Personal allowance how much? Personal. Is it? Personal allowance is 2,000, 12,570. Is it? Now you will understand. This is the comprehensive 12,570. How much is the you will get how much? Take your time. Do, don't don't rush. Okay, 32, 32, 530, 2000, 6000. Is it right? And 40, 530. Is it? This is going to be called as a taxable, taxable income. Fine. This is tax a uh, taxable income. Now still it is he is in the higher tax bracket okay he is in the higher tax how much will get relief savings income 500 okay how much he is release the savings income 500 now income tax is that income tax how much basic rate is how much non savings income is that non savings income okay non savings income basic rate is how much basic rate 32 32, 530, 
times 20 percent is it the, it comes to how much 6506 is it now savings income savings income because he is in the higher tax bracket he get how much he will get an nrb of how much he will get a nil rate band of how much 500 at the rate of zero percent okay it comes to zero now how much is the savings income left over savings income is how much savings income is 2000 minus 500 times how much 20 percent is it 2000 minus 15 15 in 1500 into 20 percent now okay next what we have to write what we have to mention we have to mention dividend income is it right? dividend income dividend income also first 1000 first 1000 is zero percent is it right? next next what is the is the next dividend income what is the difference dividend he is in the higher tax bracket okay six thousand minus one thousand is it right? six thousand minus Is that 6,000 minus? No, he is in the basic tax bracket. Okay, he is in the basic tax bracket. He is not there in the, he is not in the, he is in the basic tax bracket. Is that when he is having in the basic tax bracket, how much we have to take? Is it 37,700 minus? Okay, 37,700 minus. Is it next? Is it next? How much is there? How much we have to make it a point? It comes to how much? Two. Is it thirty-seven seven hundred minus thirty-seven thirty-seven seven hundred minus thirty-two five thirty. Is it 32 530? How much it will get? This one 32 530. Fine. Next, uh, how much is uh, okay? 32 530. Fine. See the things I will write here. Thir yeah, I will write here for, for our understanding. Okay, 30 is it 37700 minus how much 32 530 is it 32 530 32 37700 minus 32 32 530 it comes to how much it comes to 5170 is that 5170 how much you have taken the savings income savings income is 2000 is it right 3170 Okay, 3170. In, is it 3170? Is it? Is it 3170? Now, what happens? He is getting how much? He is, he is going to have uh, uh, dividend income is how much? Dividend income is how much is left over? Dividend income is left over is how much? Dividend income is left over is how much? He is getting how much? Yes. Is it? And, and, and 3170. Is it? After. Now, dividend income is how much? Dividend income, he is getting an exemption of how much? 1000. Is it? See, I will write this is the savings total savings is that this is the dividend how much is that dividend how much is it? 2170 okay 2170 2170 will be on the basic rate okay 217 now total in total income is how much total dividend income is how much six thousand six thousands is it right six thousands is the total dividend income now total dividend income basic rate is it total income is basic rate. How you have to defi define basic rate? How we have to define? This is the, this is the basic rate. It is a dividend. Dividend is taxable at the basic rate is how much? 2170 times 8.75. Okay, 21, 
2170 times 8.75. It comes to how much? It comes to 18987. We can put it as a 190. 190. Okay, you can put it as a 190. Now, this is the basic rate. Now, dividends. Is it a dividend income? At a, in, we will not write here. One minute. Is it one minute? Is it how much is there? See that is, is it 37 that 32530. Okay, now 32530 500. Is it at 1500? Is it at it comes to how much 1500? Is it 1500? 1500, 1037.7. If you add up all the things, it will come to how much? It will come to 37,700. Now, we have to take dividend income at a higher rate. Is it dividend income at a higher rate? Is it 30 is how much? 33.75. Okay. How much is the higher rate? Higher rate is how much? Uh, higher rate is how much? Uh, it comes to. Uh, it comes to. Uh, it comes to. Uh, Forty five thirty minus thirty seven seven hundred. Right? Forty. Forty. This is the total income. Minus thirty seven seven hundred. It comes to how much? 2830 times. What is the higher rate dividend income? 33.75. Is it 33.75? It comes to how much? It comes to 955. Okay, total is how much? 66506. 300 plus 190 plus 955. It comes to how much? 7951. This is going to, we don't have any, anything as income tax liability. Fine. This is the income tax liability. Okay. Are you clear about this? So, if you, if you find interesting, it, there will be a continuous series will be there till the examinations, December examinations, and for the March examinations also. You follow, I will put it in a sequential order. Uh, subscribe the channel share the channel like the channel and anything is there just put your comments so that i will get back to you immediately we have done here now next time when we are coming back in the next session we will start from here thank you so much